Hi, I'm working through the New Testament, the King James Version, just doing a cold read of the whole thing. So I started today, and I'm uh, up to Matthew chapter 4. Satan tempts Jesus. Then, Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights afterwards, afterward, he was hungry. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their lands, they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give you. You will f fall down, and if I will give you, all these things I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan! For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. And then the devil left him. And behold, angels came and ministered to him. Jesus begins his Galilean ministry. Now, when Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he departed to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea in the regions of Nebulon and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, the land of Zebulon and the land of Nephtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. And from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Four fishermen called as disciples. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea. Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nests and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boats with Zebedee, their father, mending the nets, their nets. Uh, he called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus heals a great multitude. And Jesus went all about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching in the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. Yeah, we're going to stop there. And that's chapter four.